Hey guys, Silence Zero here. Welcome back to another episode of Utah Macross Gacha videos with me. Before we begin, uh, let's start off with the things that we should mention because I have not done an update for Utah Macross in a long time. Uh, if you guys didn't know, I did a hiatus for almost roughly about four months. So let's talk about the stuff that actually happened or rather um, something that we can talk about that actually happened within the four months of hiatus ever since now that I am back to doing Uta Cross content and we got a notification that is this so yes as usual during the second event of the month during this period of time um, you know the costumes of certain divas or at least four of them um, get an upgrade so they are added into the Kiawara rank system if you guys don't know what the Kiawara rank is basically is where you can upgrade the costumes stats um, that helps you improve your high score and all that kind of good jazz you know of course sometimes the costumes get an alternate color uh, rendition but sadly to say this time round the four costumes do not get um, any color alterations um, they're just all power up so just gonna show you guys Milane's um, costume here doesn't get a color rendition it just stats up um, so as you can tell from here and of course we have um, Kanami so Kanami's gorgeous costume which is the butterfly one also doesn't get a color rendition so it's a power set up and of course um, Makina's kimono costume also doesn't get a color rendition and if I'm not wrong um, I can't recall who's the last one I think it was Freya yeah should be Freya um, yeah Freya's costume for this one also doesn't get a color rendition so no color alter uh, alterations this time round but there is something we need to talk about which is um, the five star uh, costume upgrades um, if you guys didn't know ever since they did the game update yes now costumes do get five star rankings and of course uh, Milane's is the one that gets it um, at least from my collection of costumes I've unlocked all the costumes that can be powered up so far and Milane's is the only costume that actually has um, the five star treatment so far I mean I have not unlocked the four star form because it is the color alteration and of course you can tell the five star ones gives you the um, you know the the upgrade or rather the soul improvement upgrade um, you know for that particular element uh, itself so the love series or the pink series basically gets its uh, upgrade for this costume so you know when you're using this costume for that particular color series of songs you'll get a better improvement in score as well so yeah so I've not done the five star upgrade mainly because I've been trying to hold back on you know getting all the color alteration um, you know upgrades for all the costumes that actually have it because I've been saving up to do a, a color alteration video <laughs> to show off um, so yeah I guess that's kind of a spoiler for what I have planned in the future but anyways I hope you guys are looking forward to that video where basically I just unlock all the color alterations at one go that is from the start of the introduction until now um, so yeah look forward to that video so the other thing that we need to talk about is basically the uh, I, I know I've been talking about it for the last two Utah Macross videos but I have to mention it once again so there is an inquiry form, this one here. So today is actually the last day. If you guys have not filled up your, uh, the form yourself, you need to do it by today, the end of today. Um, basically, from the time of this video that I'm recording, you have technically, uh, well, 12 hours to do so. Um, if you guys have not done it, let Dana know what kind of uh, things that you're expecting of them to improve in Utah Macross or maybe looking forward to seeing what happen in Utah Macross and all the good jazz. Uh, of course, filling up this form gives you some singing stones as a reward for your hard time and effort. And of course, do tap the Kochira, uh, Kochira Kara sign so underlined words here to go straight to the form and fill up the information. Of course, doing so is going to help us in the long run for Utah Macross players and of course to see how this game evolves uh, as a franchise as well as part of the Macross universe. Do you want to see more story in this game? Do you want to see more costume designs? Do you want to see more costume upgrades? Do you want to see Valkyrie upgrades? That kind of stuff that is all asked inside the questionnaire form. 
So today is the last day, you've got 12 hours to do so. Well, at least from the time that I'm recording this video, by the time this video goes up, maybe you have like, like 11 hours or 10 hours. Who knows, maybe from the time that you're watching the video, you might even have lesser. So guys, get down to filling up the questionnaire if you have not done so. Free singing stones is always nice, of course, helping the developers out is always a good thing as well. So yes, today is a gacha video, so let's dive into the brand new gacha that belongs to Milane. Um, of course, we are looking, I'm, at least I am, I am looking forward to her brand new kimono costume. Very rockish, loving the hairdo, very very nice. Gotta, gotta say, the Sengoku era with rock design is oh so sweet. <laughs> so I definitely would love to obtain Milane's brand new gacha uh, episode plate. Um, Milane is definitely one of my other favorite girls from another franchise in the Cross series. Um, yeah, and you know, I, it's, it's just it's just a lovely, lovely design. Um, we've seen all the Kawawa kimono designs, um, you know, belonging to the rest of the girls who have already gotten the R version of the kimono costume. So this time around, Fire Bomber is getting around to getting their own set of kimono costume. Of course, Basara doesn't wear a kimono. I mean, not the ladies' version, but you know, a guy's version of the kimono. So looking forward to that gacha as well. That's coming around very, very soon after Milane's. So yes. Let's do this guys, um, so we're gonna pull, and of course, you know, there is this gacha as well, and of course you can tell, um, Min Mei's 7 star episode plate design is here, yes, this was actually the first, um, appearance of Min Mei's 7 star episode gacha costume, if you guys didn't know, yes, our is by Mikimoto Sama, so, the, the illustrator for the very first Macross franchise, so if you don't know who your Macross artists are, go ahead and learn about them. Um, we're always talking about who the artists are on the my my YouTube Facebook page. You know, whenever they release art, artwork or sketches, I will always um, post about them because they're under the official Macross category. So yes, I don't really post fan artworks anymore. Um, ever since I closed down the fan group, so it's only all official Macross art. So yes, alright, so let's do this uh, discounted template pool, if I don't get it, maybe I might go for a, you know, a, you know, a 500 singing stone regular pool, who, who knows, let's see how the luck is for today. So far this morning, ever since I put the 10 plate free gacha pool, the luck has been pretty decent, but you know, it can go south very easily, considering that how well the new year started out, so let's do this guys. Hopefully we get some decent, nice stuff, or at least one copy of Milane's a brand new episode plate, uh, it should be fine. It will get me all set up for the event currently that's going on. So here we go. We did get a bit of loading. So one, two, three, three, four, three, four, five. Ooh, that's looking promising. If we get a rainbow box off the bat, that would be fantastic. So no rainbow box. There we go, we do get a rainbow box, but it might belong to an old episode plate. So. Let's not keep our hopes up, but it's always nice to wish for something better. Alright, so we do have a red box though, so don't forget, regular boxes can evolve. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, so it's not Milane's brand new plate. Uh, I've been getting a lot of uh, Cheryl's plates, uh, especially this one. I mean, it is a fire bomber. Oh, oh, we do get this though, so that's fine. So that, 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 that plate itself is just points towards Milane's brand new costume, so that's, that's pretty good itself. Um, I do have quite a bit of singing stones stored up, so I do you know, have a choice to go for a 500 pool. Um, you know, as long as I do have some singing stones saved up for Basaras later on as well, we do need 300. So technically, if I want to do two pulls, it's going to be 800 singing stones. So definitely not enough for Basara to go for a second round. So let's go for a second round for Milane. Um, then of course, we will save up the rest for Basaras when it comes around. So let's do that. Okay. So yeah, if you guys have been saving up your singing stones from the events and of course all the, the login bonuses, you should technically have a lot of singing stones. I've already used up all my paid singing stones so these are all three the ones that I have on hand right now so let's do this second round for Milane 
Um, no discounted this time round, so it's gonna be a bit painful on the wallet. Well, technically on the free wallet, so... Uh, hopefully the luck goes. Okay, we do get a bit of a slower load this time round, so that might indicate something. Well, might is a very big assumption, so... Oh yes, you still get the 5 Valkyrie animation, so as long as you do get a rainbow box in the sequences, that's fine. Yep, there we go, we do have a rainbow box with four or uh, three red boxes along, so that's not too bad, so that's a chance that the red boxes might evolve. Alright. Okay, Freya is continue. Oh, we do get a bit of lag, so the box evolves to a rainbow. Is it Milane? Oh no, it's not. Uh, I guess the happy Freya plate kind of hinted to this one. <laughs> I don't know, but it, it's still a 5 star plate, so that's nice. Uh, I just hope that the last rainbow box is Milane's brand new plate, so that's going to be fantastic in terms of unlocking the costume. Uh, don't forget, Milane's costume technically is unlockable through the event episode plate itself. Oh, what is with Cheryl? Oh my god, I cannot! What is going on here? Ah, oh, Cheryl, 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 stop appearing in front of my face. I mean, I have you on my main screen. I, I, I don't know. Maybe I had to blame myself for not changing the diva on the main screen to Milane. Uh, but yeah, I've been having Cheryl on my main screen for quite some time now because her Kawawa dolls are kind of lacking in quantity on my, my end, so I... I needed to stock up on Cheryl's Kawawa dolls, but uh, she has been giving me quite a bit of luck um, for the new year, so I, I, I can't blame her entirely. So anyway guys, that's it for this round's gacha videos. Uh, yes, like I said, don't forget, Milane's costume can technically be unlocked through the hard work of the current event. Um, because the episode plates do give costume points for Milane's costume, so technically... Uh, you should be actually spending more same stones on Basara's costume because Basara's costume can only be unlocked via gacha. So yeah, that's going to be painful. But of course, if you have a buttload of uh, episode odds that's used to unlock costumes, um, I think you shouldn't have a problem, especially if you are planning to unlock the costume at least. Or you know, if if you are the kind of person who die, who die, die once to get the... Yeah, I'm, I'm using Singlish right here. <laughs> if you die, die once to get um, the episode plates that belong to the uh, the featured diva, then of course you're gonna have to toss in that physical cash or the amount of uh, singing stones that you have saved up already. Uh, but for me, I think unlocking the costumes just to enjoy the special animation is more than enough for me. Getting the episode plates is just a bonus at this point of time because, well, eventually when Dana tosses out all the free gachas, you might get them eventually. Uh, or maybe when you're pulling gachas or newer gachas, um, you might eventually get them uh, con considered old episode plates. So anyway guys, thank you guys so much for joining me on another episode of Uta My Cross Gacha video. If I didn't sound too... Uh, enthusiastic, I, I, I'm actually sick, so <laughs> um, if you guys follow me on Pokemon Cafe Mix, you will definitely hear me and my optimum sickness level. Uh, the video should be out tomorrow, um, so yeah, yeah guys, look forward to another episode of Pokemon Cafe Mix. If you guys enjoy puzzle games and Pokemon franchises, yeah, definitely check me out on those videos as well. So until then guys, Thank you guys so much once again. Yes, I said thank you three times in this video already. You know, I can never express myself enough how much I, uh, how much gratefulness I'm, I'm feeling from you guys watching through the entire video. And of course, sharing the love and leaving a like on this video. And of course, if you guys are brand new to the channel, make sure you subscribe for more content just like this. And I'll see you guys in the next video tomorrow for Pokemon Cafe Mix. Until then. Bye!